hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is summer so uh, in this video i want to share this with you guys so i was tagged on this post on instagram and i looked into the story but i couldn't get the full story so i went over to search for you know reputable newspaper like i always say so that i can get a full story of what something is before i make a video about it so i checked it out and it's actually a story of a nigerian guy he's an actor and uh, he said he went away came back and his wife had left with the two children okay one the three-year-old boy the ten-year-old is his stepdaughter so which means as the wife's child that she had before they got married and they have a son who is three year old and that she sent him a message that she had left and uh, she had gone back to her father's house so she, basically that means she doesn't want to be married anymore but anyways from the report he's the one filing for divorce and he's asking for custody of the children right the unfortunately from even the reading from the punch news i went for punch news there was no part of the story where the wife actually spoke or the ex-wife as for everything was what he said she didn't the, i don't have that balance to hear from her but anyway there was one part he talked about she was depriving him of a bedroom dance i don't know if you will know what i mean okay and then he said something about she lost the pregnancy and they said it was through std and uh, i think he said he never got any report about it that's what i'm saying that we didn't hear from the wife so that we can you know to be nice to kind of have that balance of okay the wife said this and this is what the husband said and then he claimed that he's not the one that sent her out of their matrimonial home that she left herself okay maybe i should just let me just address it as i go along right now when he was saying he's not the one that sent her out and all of that and she left she said she deserted their matrimonial home i want to say this right there's a saying in Igbo language that um, what's it called when you see an adult running because children run around if you see children running you know that they're playing or they're messing about or whatever but adults don't run for nothing and they said if you see an adult running is either the adult is chasing something or something is chasing that adult if a grown woman that you are married to wakes up one day and leaves she's not running chasing something or she's running away from something something is chasing her away if your wife let me tell you this how this is my opinion now uh -huh. nobody man or woman walks away from a marriage they are enjoying mm -mm. nobody runs away from it i'm not even talking about being unfaithful that's another story right i'm just talking about walking away say i don't do again you see that for example let me throw this guy in a yule doshi that uh, decided to bring a new wife and add her on top of the one at home he shows you that he's enjoying the one he has uh, my opinion is that he went to play away match between hook you know nigerian culture where boy is valid she can't go born boy because if it's a matter of my marriage was so bad he would have walked away from one and go to the other one but no he, he seems he, from what we have said he has said he wants the two so he was enjoying he's enjoying that wife only that he did not control himself my opinion or this i see it and he ended up getting somebody pregnant so coming back to this story now if your wife is running away in this situation a wife is running away from a marriage is it that she's chasing the life she would love to have or she's running away from the one she has i hope i'm making sense so she's either running away from the life she has with you okay or she's running out there to go get the life that she would love to have i really hope i'm explaining it properly so there must be a reason she decided she quits nigerian woman quit marriage mm -mm. they don't quit marriages in short if nigerian women they could be beat inside marriage they want to die there for a nigerian woman to walk away there is a reason i don't know the reason like i said unfortunately she didn't say anything that said from all indications she ran away he's filing for divorce that's not a problem they don't already decide they don't do again everybody's going their separate way another area i want to address is he saying he wants custody of their daughter well i say their daughter because our people are not used to this the man from it means she had a child before he married her and he accepted that child and had that child in his life people forget even as a man he can have a bond with that child and may see he, he said that he was paying the girl school fees even after the the woman ran away he was still sending money for school fees or whatever that's what he said like i said we didn't hear from the woman now a lot of our people are struggling with the idea of why will he want the custody of the child that is not his and we forget that there's something called attachment and a mistake some of us make is thinking that it's only a woman that can have attachment with their children is a lie there are some men that can be attached to their children i can bet you that and at the same time 
You will see a woman say, oh, if a man comes into my life and cannot love my children like his own. So women want a man that would come and love their children if they had children, they had children before. Even men want the same. If we, you know, we, we want a man that would come in and if she already has children and would love her children like his own. And then when it happens, a lot of our people frown at it. Like in this case, where the man is not saying, I want custody of my children. So be like, ah, and you get her. But when the man does not love a wife, the wife's child like his own, they will say, how can you know, how can you love their mother, uh, love the woman, and not love the child? Is a package, is a dinner. When the man now accepts the package and now really loves that child like his own, and say, I want custody of even that child. Our people struggle understanding that a man can be attached to a child that is not biologically theirs. It did happen. So, you understand? I really want to address that aspect. Let's not be contradicting ourselves in what we, we see as a good thing. It's a good thing for your father to... Do you know in some countries, that man can actually ad adopt that child legally. That child becomes his own legally, even though she's not biologically his child. And then he's going to have a say in that child's life. Right? Okay. Now, there is an accusation that he tried to sleep with a girl or something like that. And honestly, that then put K leg in the situation. You get my point. So then, the chances of him getting that child is going to be difficult because of that allegation, which anybody will understand that. But I'm just saying, on a normal ground, people should not be too quick to say, eh, she's not your own. You cannot ask for the custody. A man can love a child that much. It can happen. Right? Okay. Another area I want to speak about is he said that his wife was not bedroom dancing with him. That uh, after they had their child, she didn't want to bedroom dance with him. Unfortunately, again, we do not hear from the wife for reasons. So people are saying, eh, eh, well, maybe because you gave her STD, maybe because you are sleeping around, maybe because it is that we don't know the full story. So I'm going to stick with that. So maybe. And then, if a husband, for whatever reason, or a wife, somebody does not want to dance with them anymore, as in do the do with them anymore. I feel like that marriage is over. I made a video before where I spoke about it. I said, if you're in a marriage, sometimes you compromise. There are days when you're not in the mood. That one, that story was actually about a man that said his wife does not even agree at all. He said six years now he has not touched his wife. And I made a video which I was saying that, look, sometimes, even if, sometimes, I didn't say all the time, even if a woman is not in the mood, I said a woman can help her husband's ministry, if you know what I mean. Ah, so, there was somebody in the comment that really came for me. What do you mean? If I'm not in the mood, it's my body, it's my this, it's my that, I cannot do this. If I'm not in the mood, I don't do that. Then you don't love the man. That if you don't love, why are you still married to a person you're not in love with? And when I say help his ministry, don't forget there are many ways to help a man's ministry. Don't ask me how. <laughs> It's just like sometimes somebody's back is itchy. You help them to scratch their back. Do you feel like scratching somebody's back? No, you do it because, okay, let me help them scratch their back. Sometimes, it doesn't have to be all the time. What about if it's you that is in the mood and he says he's not in the mood? Marriage is a compromise. This is vice versa. Both ways. Let me tell you guys, I believe it is wrong to withhold bedroom dance from a partner. Be it man or woman. Let me know if we start quoting the Bible for you guys. That one will be another topic because not everybody that's watching me that is even a Christian. Some people say, ah, it's not, I'm not a Christian, so it doesn't apply to me. Let's even talk about on a normal term. Right? If your wife is in the mood and you are not, not if you really love your wife, you will help her out. If your husband is in the mood and you are not, if you really love him, you will help him out. The people who say, he's my buddy, I can do what I like, and all those things. Yeah. And then the funny thing is that this kind of people will still come out tomorrow. The person that's saying that, uh, ah, if I don't want to, if I don't, if I'm not in the mood, I'm not helping anybody. What do you mean help his ministry? I'm not helping anybody. There was, I can't remember, I can't remember. I remember somebody made a comment like that. And the funny thing is that these are the people that will still come out and say, I'm married, I'm married. Married to who? Who are you married to? If you, if my body is my this, is a, and you are, do you know what marriage is? Some people don't know it. You know, unfortunately, our society is marriage is uh, where I should be to attend all the birthday parties, where I should be, you know, husband and wife matching cloth to attend everything. I'm a married woman, no. I'm a married man, no. They come out to public and claim to be married. But in the real term of it, they are not married. They are just living together. If you claim to be married to somebody and you love him or her, and if your partner, your husband's or your wife's body is shaking and you decide that you know you don't care about helping to cool them down. Do you know what I mean? Help their body calm down. You don't want to help them. You have no interest at all. In a marriage, you claim to be married and you're living in a 
a separate room. Your husband is in a separate room. Nothing between you is going on. And you come out and you are saying, I'm married, I'm married. I beg, tell me, you are, you are married to who? Who are you married to? You are married to yourself. That is not marriage. There are people that are married. The only, they stay, they claim to be married. The man stays in his room with lubricant, sorting himself out. The wife is on one side, sorting herself out. And they come out in public and claim it. No, you're not married. Which marriage? That, why is that one marriage? Because I don't understand these things. There are a lot of things we do in this life that we don't want to do it. We go to work sometimes. And there are sometimes you arrive on your shift. I'm a nurse, for those that do not know. You arrive on your shift and you see from the handover, you know that today you go to the, what is waiting for you. Maybe your patient load is too much or the kind of patients they gave you are like tough cases, like they are maybe very, very unwell or whatever. You don't say, ah, I'm not in the mood, though. I'm not doing this job. Ah, you go home. You don't do that. It's your job for the day you do it. There are a lot of things we do not because we want to do it, but we do it because we need to do it. That's where your income comes from. That is, these are patients that you need to look after. You sleep in the middle of the night, if one child calls you, Mom, I need to go to the toilet. You don't feel like getting up that night to go take your child to the toilet. But you take your child to the toilet. Do you know why? Because you love your child and you want to look after your child. And you are married. And then you say, your husband's body is shaking. Or your wife's body is shaking. And you say, I, I, don't, I, I don't want to help him. Where is the love? Where is the marriage? Where, what is, where is the relationship? So, but this couple, like I said, it would be great to hear from her, his wife why she doesn't want to do anything with him. Then we can say, okay, see you, see you, see you, see you, see you, see you. You know, there are cases where women have a reason to say they don't want to. But the truth is that when a woman does not want to sleep with a man, she, he says it's three years. The right, she has done the right thing by saying, okay, I can't even leave. There's no point. I can't be with, live with this man anymore. I'm out. And she quit it and left for whatever reason. You know what I mean? What I'm saying is that when marriage gets to the point where people don't want to sleep with each other, I don't know if we can still call that marriage or I don't know. Let me tell you, if you don't want bedroom dance at all, and then your partner also does not want, okay? You now match each other. But not one person wants, and the other person is being deprived. That is wrong. That's what I'm saying. Now, I want to speak on another area. According to the report, the judge said that, uh, you cannot give her, uh, how can I give you the female child or something like that? Because, uh, you know, he's a female child. What if she sees her period? What are you going to do about it? I said in 2022. 2022, I asked like, what if their mother, if, what if the mother died? Forget that now, he's not his biological child. If that was his biological child and then the mother died, will a judge say you cannot raise your child because uh, you are a man? You, what would, where will, if you see the blood, you will run. How did they write it? Let me read that part. This is what a judge said in 2022. He said, the only reason the girl child should not be in the custody of the mother is if the mother is mentally derailed or the issue of infidelity is involved. <laughs> so even there was infidelity, so he will give the girl to the father because of infidelity. Then he will not worry about the period, right? You know, I said, assuming the girl starts her, starts her monthly period, you as a father do not know what to do. You will be scared of the blood. <laughs> scared of the blood is the man not married to a woman that bleeds every month this is me i'm asking you know, is the man not married to a woman that bleeds every month well is he scared of his wife bleed that is the daughter's one that is going to be scared like i'm saying this story is a bit different now because this is not his biological daughter but just because it means that if this was his biological daughter that's how they would actually address it and he says uh, a female girl is delicate <laughs> okay a female is already a girl so why you say a female girl? He said, your own case is worse because an accusation has been levied against you. You know, I said that. I said, for the fact that he's already accused of whatever, he don't need to put K leg for the story. The story is no longer straight. You understand? That puts him at a disadvantage because there's already an accusation. But uh, this idea that I was raised by my father, right? And monthly period as at that time, girls in secondary school talk about it. They talk about it in, I think, uh, is it? JS1 and I had my elder sister told me about it but this idea that a male child cannot discuss it with a female child I don't know where that comes from I don't know how you guys see it I think that let me tell you um, any man watching this and you're for any reason raising your female child by yourself let's say you're widowed or whatever the situation is if you cannot even talk to your female child about it buy her a book this is 2022 there is no reason why a male child cannot be raised by a female we can't say that about boys you say, I will not let your mother raise you because she's not a, a, a male like you. If women can be allowed to raise their sons, why can't a man raise his daughters? I believe in co-parenting. But in this man's case, like before I forget, this man's case is different because he even explained himself that sometimes he's away from five days to months 
from home. So how is he going to parent these children when he's not really available? He said he travels abroad for movie acting and stuff like that. Uh, when he marries another wife and uh, all of that, he's not, you understand, he's, that gives him kind of K-leg already because he's not a stable, he's not readily available. There was something they said, the joy said that the child does not need a rich father. The child reads a caring mother, whatever. I can't remember how the phrase is. If I see it, I put it on the screen. But let's not make that mistake of thinking that only mothers can care. A father can care too. Let's not make that mistake. Father can care too. I was raised by my father and I believe my father was caring. He was a difficult father in his own way, not because my mother was not there, but that's who he, he was. And um, a child, what a child needs is a, 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 a mother or whatever. That was where they phrased it. Let me tell you, we made the mistake of thinking that because fathers are the breadwinners typically in our culture it makes them not emotionally attached to their children it's not true there are some fathers that are emotionally attached and believe it or not our society is creating the problem where men are raised to think that the emotional attachment is the woman thing it's not my thing as a father my my part is just the making of the money a man can make the money and still be emotionally attached to his children a woman too can make money and also be emotionally attached to her children. But like I said, unfortunately, we can't really get from the woman's side of the story. So it's such an unbalanced story for us to actually decide on. It's so, okay, see you, see you. I just wanted to address it in general. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't hear from the woman's side of the story. So it's an unbalanced thing to really speak about because we don't know. But like I said as well, nobody, a woman or man, runs away from a marriage that they are enjoying. Let me tell you, for her to run away, there must, this is how I feel, there must be a reason why she ran away. It would have been great if we could hear from the woman's side. I think this, one of the, this is one of those videos where we kind of wait until maybe when they go back to court and they say more, maybe then we can actually say, okay, yeah. And maybe the wife gets to speak, then we can say, okay, this makes sense, this is it. But apart from that, we're just going to speak from just one side of the story. And uh, well, this is my opinion about it so far. And as always, whatever your opinions are, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.